Hello, welcome to Chalk Couture. Tonight we'll be doing a whiteboard and this one is called the Couture Boutique Board and Base with our transfer. I'm outdoorsy, I like to drink on patios. How fun is that? How is everyone today? Today's May Day. May Day is an awesome day. I remember on May Day when I was in the fourth grade, I got to do a maypole dance. And maybe some of you don't know what that is, but it was very fun and the whole entire class participated. We had 34 kids in our class. So anyway, I hope you're all having a great May Day. Um, I sure have. It's been a beautiful sunny day. So let's get started with our board and base from Chalk Couture. Um, again, I'm Peggy Williamson, um, independent designer from Chalk Couture. So let's open up our board and base. This plastic's nice and strong. And here's our package. Um, I will pin in the comments, I will pin exactly, exactly what I'm using today. Um, this board and base goes into the base like so sticks right in there it's nice and firm and um, works very nicely it's double sided double sided so you can get um, both sides in your on your board and it also goes up and down so I feel like my I feel like my camera's just bent just a little bit maybe sorry and so, um, then each, each board that we have from Chalk Couture is um, very nicely put together. It's put together for our transfers. So when you are using your transfer, which is five by seven, and I got it upside down there, five by seven goes on this board absolutely perfectly. So it says, I'm outdoorsy, and um, it's got the drink glass and yeah, that's pretty fun. Some of these fun ones that we have going on for, for our new launch were amazing. So, we'll set our board and base over here. <clears throat> we will get out our transfer. And keep in mind, up here behind me, I went to Couture Tours. And I got to make one while I was at Couture Tours. And here's one side. And then you can take it out, and there's the other side. It was so much fun, and we got together with everyone and uh, had a great time. So I'm going to put together for you just like the one I did. I'm just going to do one-sided, so have fun. So normally what we would do is when we're doing any type of a, a surface, we are going to do a wax. So, we have a little bit of a wax in our jar, and there's our surface wax. So there we go. And then we just go in and we put a little bit of wax on our, our surface. And doing a circular motion. And the reason why we wax, you say, why do you wax? What are you waxing that for? Well, we wax our surface because our um, the wax is very good for the boards because some of the boards have a little bit of um, maybe flaking or pieces of wood or anything that could harm your transfer. Our transfers are very sticky and you want to preserve the stickiness on your transfer because you can use your transfer 8 to 12 times and sometimes even longer if they're cared for correctly. So we let our transfer down, lay our transfer down right there, get my Sharpie ready, and uh, we're going to buff off the wax. We're going to buff it off in a little circular motion like so. And there we have it. And in the meantime, I am going to get my chalk ready and the colors that I'm going to use. And at this point, I am going to use Jade in Chalkology. 
Chalkology paste. And I am going to use a uh, yellow, yellow, which we're looking forward for summer. This one is sunny side, not bumblebee. It's a little bit surprised on that because I like that yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. How many of you like the favorite color? And then we have shimmer orchid. Okay. And I'm going to add a little shimmer orchid to the raspberry sorbet. So here goes, guys. I'm going to get this ready. Take the lids off. I have my um, chalk paste ready to go. And after this video, I had a little bit of trouble again. I'm still technically challenged, but I am getting better. You notice it only took one time for me to stop and start over. So this time at the end of the video, if you are interested in, in um, what I'm using tonight, I will post in the comments when I'm done what I'm using. And of course, I just made a little bit of a mess. I dropped my, I dropped my squeegee right into the shimmer paste. So we're going to get that out of the way so I don't get it on my board and so forth. And I'm going to grab a wet wipe because that's how it rolls. Any kind of wet wipe works and um, except for total Clorox it's probably not so good on there or anything gritty. So a little bit on there. So we are ready to go. How is everyone? Again happy May Day. How exciting. I haven't thought about that when I was little my grandma lived across the lawn from me and I could hardly wait for May Day because I would take her some of the little daisies out of the yard. Um, and ring her doorbell and then run off like my grandma didn't know it was me, right? Anyway, it was so fun. So anyway, now what you're going to do is you're going to write on the back of your transfer. And you are going to write on this before you pull your transfer off. Because your transfer is um, so sticky, you do not want to put it on the wrong side of your, your backer. Okay, this is your backer sheet that we're pulling it off of. And if you just take your finger down that, you can pull it right off. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is really shiny on this side. And that's the side that your transfer goes back on when you're finished. And there's the back. So we're going to set that right over here out of harm's way. I'm going to bring over my fuzzing cloth. And of course you also ask why is she using a fuzzing cloth? Don't, what's that for? Well, this is to give it a little bit of fuzz so it's not super sticky to our um, surface. And this way, you can peel it off a little bit easier. And our transfers are silk screen. And the silk in there, when you pull it off your board, if it's too stuck to the board, you can stretch your transfer and then they won't work as well. And so you lightly fuzz those, you know, three to five times. And then when you feel that it's working, then you just put it on and line this up as best you can, unless you're a person who likes to measure everything. And of course, then you could get out your ruler. And the one thing, you know, I just wanted to mention, you know what, I'm gonna stop for just a minute. When you put this back in the board, you're gonna wanna make sure you've got room for the board to slide down in there. So you want to make sure that your transfers up on your board. See? So you want to put that on uh, your uh, transfer on there so that it doesn't get covered with your with your board. With your base, your board base. So you'll want to put that up just a little bit and raise that up. And you know what? Since I started, I almost forgot myself. So then I I think that's just a tiny bit crooked so let's straighten that up just a little bit and that looks pretty good okay so then what we do is we just take our finger around and make sure that the the white which is your your um, silk screen is pressed down and no little waves are separated from the green okay and so there we have it. And so I'm right-handed, so I'm going to move my chalk over on the other side. And at this point, I am going to use, I am going to use yellow and green for our drink. So hopefully it looks kind of like a little bit of a, 
a fancy summer. We're all looking forward for sunshine and summer, correct? So let's do a little bit of that. Okay, let's do a little bit of um, mixing in here. So we're just going to go down here, put a little bit on there. Just put that right in like so. Take a little bit of our jade and get right in it. Go in there. We're going to get our yellow out again and have a little bit of fun here. And I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with you guys. So this is great. I like to mix things up just a little bit because, you know, if you're having a cocktail, you know, cocktails are fun to mix together, maybe in the blender or what have you. So look what we have here. We have it almost ready to go. And because I'm going to do the other side, I am going to probably pull this up and take a peek. Okay, so I'm going to turn it just a little bit and see it looks kind of kind of mushy and really kind of fun. So let's see what this looks like. Make sure I got it. Oh, how fun. Yes, sirree. That looks great. So I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow, run that over the bottom. I had just a little bit on the bottom that I needed to. And then I'm just going to swipe it all, and I think we are good. Don't leave any lines or any marks where you can pull that up, and it'll leave a little ledge. Oh, yes, that is perfect. Okay, so we're going to lay that back down. Then we're going to go over to our other colors, our pinks. And we are going to put our pink on and tell me where you're from tell me how your day is and where you live I live in Washington State we are still waiting for a warm spring today was pr probably about not quite 61 degrees we've had a lot of rain and um, hoping that you have a lot of sunshine and a lot of warm weather so anyway I'm so glad that you're on here and, and supporting me and enjoying our video so let's take just a little bit of shimmer we're going to put that on we're just going to put this on and do maybe a little kind of a hot mess ombre type thing here with our with our colors just because i'm liking it just liking it a lot so we'll just go on down a little more here put a little more of the shimmer back in and bring that right up because I just like a little bit of bling I'm kind of a bling girl and put that back in the jar because it doesn't really matter and then we're going to go over the top here we're just going to check that out I move my board a little And you're going to scrape that back into your jar because you can reuse whatever you have. And it's very little amount that you need for each project. It's just amazing. So let's check and see how this went. Let's pull from this side. And we are going to pull that up. And we are going to look at our bling. Oh, goodness, yes. Let's go back just a little tiny bit with a little bit of our pink. My pink might have been just... A little bit dry. I did mix them a little bit ahead of time. Felt like they were pretty pretty smooth, but it might be just a little bit dry. So we'll we'll fix that up. Take this up again. And oh yes. Yes. That looks great. So there you have it. I have I have a helper with me tonight. And look at our cocktail. Does that look like a mighty fine summer cocktail? Thank you, helper. Look, guys, just look at that cocktail. Does that not look like summer? So, anyway, um, we have that. And before I stick my hand in it, because I am very good at it, I'm going to dry that just a little bit while we chat for a minute. So, if I wanted to do the other side of my board, I can choose another transfer and after this is dry I could turn this over 
and I could do the other side immediately. And that really makes it fun. And also, just for your information, if you were really interested, you could put something on this board on the bottom. You could put summer, you could put anything from another transfer um, on your board. You can paint the board with the chalk paste and a little bit of water. Probably take one or two coats if you like a solid look. If you're just looking to um, just put a little bit of sparkle on it, you could just take some of the shimmer, like the shimmer paste here that we have in this one, and uh, put the shimmer paste on your, on your base. And that looks just super, super nice. Just to spice it up a little bit. Of course, if you were doing a flowery or a type where you'd like a ribbon or a bow, you could always embellish this with a bow and make it look just real stunning. Um, most of the time I put bows on everything, except that I really personally don't think that the bows on our patio drink um, kind of go with that. So that's just my opinion though. Each of us does our own thing. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind is when your chalk is shiny, it's wet. And when it gets to be a little more dull, it's dry. And sometimes the shimmers take just a little bit longer to dry. So you want to be careful that you have everything done and dry. And again, um, I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, I'm still trying to do the tech um, thing and I'm getting used to looking at the cameras and, and uh, it's been interesting. And um, tonight I only made one mistake with the cameras. And um, so next time we'll try to make it even faster and even better. And so anyway, um, I hope you like what we did here tonight. If you have any questions, you can comment. And I will answer your comments. So I will look back and, and see. Look at that. I'm outdoorsy. I like to drink on patios. Isn't that awesome? That is just awesome. And so this is the other side. So if I were to do the other side, I could do that right now. My chalk is dry enough that I could lay that down on, on my table and I could chalk something on the other side. It could even be for, you know, like my other one over here, it could be two, two different things. So anyway. This is where you have a little bit of fun. And what I mean by two different things is, you know, like the blue and the orange on the bottom. So, and what I did over here, again, remember that this was a hot mess. And this was a ombre with the top and ombre in the middle and then down the sides. So the two colors. I know it's a little harder to see with the pink, but um, it turned out very, very nice. It's turned out like the cocktail that I would like to have. So... You guys, um, again, this is Peggy from Peggy's Chalk and Ink, independent designer for Chalk Couture and proud to be with Chalk Couture. And if you have any questions, please ask. And you are more than welcome to visit my VIP page. It's Peggy's Chalk and Ink on Facebook. So thank you very much and have an amazing week. Thank you. Bye-bye.